Space Land even more fun. What what kind of I bothers me though? Fun. What kind of bothers me is when what? he's like when when Leros was like you can actually you know play with dewdrops on Space Land. And it didn't happen. I heard I heard that is a thing, but it's having bugs. They're trying to implicate it. Wait, is that true? Wait, what were you guys talking about? Yes. A pain in this map, and of course that perkaholic that we talked about. We're gonna give you the ability to have every single perk at once. That's a pretty big deal because some of the stuff that we've introduced in the previous map, some of the newer perks, uh, it's gonna be interesting taking those those perks into older experiences. Getting to have something like Deadeye uh, in a map like Zombies in Spaceland is gonna be pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, what else do we wanna talk about? Uh, uh, actually, you know what, I promised this and, and, and let me... So is Director's Cut exactly what it's all cracked up to be? What's going on guys, my name is Cynic, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Director's Cut, how to access it, what exactly it gives you, and some of the questions that some people were asking and why. There's a lot of confusion going on right now. As I showed you, to kind of give you guys a little bit of premise to the beginning of the video, basically me and my brother had just unlocked Director's Cut and we decided to bum rush through all of the Easter eggs starting with Zombies in Spaceland. Now, we assumed we were going to be giving all the perks from the start, which we were, however we were missing dewdrops and changed shoes and we also were all spawning in with candles which according to the live stream i showed earlier lee ross mentioned we were going to be able to carry dew drops into previous maps and we were also going to be spawning in with things besides a candle or specifically something that wasn't a pistol and that was the way that players who weren't playing director's cut were able to identify other players who were playing inside a director's cut so far all of these things have been proven untrue we've been spawning in with the same weapons inside of each map uh, candles inside of zombies in spaceland shall and shuffle the osa inside of the beast from beyond and rave you still spawn in without nothing inside of your hands and you still get all the perks inside of those corresponding maps and nothing that isn't outside the map with the exception of attack the radioactive thing where you actually can still get trailblazers which i still find to be a little odd that it'll work out that way but you can't bring dew drops or change shoes into zombies in spaceland i still find that a little weird but who knows maybe there's still some bugs and kinks and everyone just figured out director's cut a little faster than infinity world was planning on so the full-blown director's cut experience has not been implemented 100 percent yet but tomorrow is tuesday and tuesdays are normally the days that updates roll out so who knows maybe tomorrow we'll see an updated version of director's cut for everyone who has access to that but anyways i just kind of wanted to bring everyone up to speed and let you guys know that that's not how director's cut is at least as of now fingers crossed that that does change but moving on and talking a little bit about what director's cut is because i know that i have a lot of xbox viewers who still have to wait like a solid 20 days on top of a lot of playstation players who have not completed every single easter egg or who don't even have the season pass so essentially breaking down what director's cut is is it really is zombies mode in its easiest form so from the start you're granted 25,000 points instead of the normal 500 points you would spawn in with you're given every single perk inside of that map and it's permanent so if you go down and you get revived all your perks are still back no need to worry also you have unlimited perk slots so if you wanted to remove mule kick to lessen the chances of you accidentally getting a good weapon as your third weapon you can remove mule kick get two good weapons go pick mule kick back up and you'll have every single perk still so it's badass to have a permanent perkaholic on top of unlimited perk slots so you can actually do a little work around with mule kick like that and any weapon you get out of the magic wheel is automatically pack a punched once that includes wonder weapons so inside of zombies in space land you can get the discord the shredder the face melter or the head cutter all packed once for the magic wheel right here i just picked up the discord and this works on every other map. So inside of Raven the Redwoods, you can get any of the four bows out of the Magic Wheel upgraded. You can get the Nunchucks out of Shell and Shuffle, but not the Katana, considering that is still a wall weapon. That's still a weapon that no one's going to be able to experience without doing the Easter egg. Uh, in Attack the Radioactive Thing, you can actually get the Mad both upgraded and non-upgraded out of the wheel, so you can get pissed off twice as badly from getting both. And inside of Beast from Beyond, you can actually pick up the Venom Y, which is the upgraded Venom X, which is extremely useful considering I feel like there's all kinds of random bullshit to do for the Venom X and it's just a pain in the ass But finally the cherry on top you can automatically double pack a punch in any map The trick is the only thing you have to do is actually access pack a punch So inside of zombies in space land you have to activate all teleporters Raven the Redwoods you have to build the boat find the film reels Shell and shuffle you still have to find the pieces to open the pack a punch portal And of course that continues from 
attack the radioactive thing and beast from beyond but as soon as you open up the pack a punch portal you can actually double pack a punch from the start which is amazing this is a lifesaver by round three on zombies in space line we had double packed weapons when our weapons upgraded all we really needed was a trap and everyone to have good solid weapons all around we're good to go. Zombies in Space Land is the easiest Easter egg with an upgraded Wonder Weapon. Regardless of how many players you have, downing the alien is super easy. It's kind of ridiculous how easy all the Easter eggs are with Director's Cut active. Of course, the Super Easter Egg is kind of another story, but I mean, nonetheless, Director's Cut is an amazing way for Infinity War to one-up Treyarch. Even though they haven't delivered on the other things that Lee Ross was hinting at, like starting off with something besides a candle and being able to bring in other perks from other maps like Change Shoes and Dewdrops, I think the rewards we got are by far an amazing way to close off the zombie season inside of Infinite Warfare. So you know, hats off to Infinity War for doing a very successful zombie season inside of a game that everyone basically shut down from the start and a lot of people were turned off from the whole goofy scene. But nonetheless, gameplay wise, I think Infinite Warfare zombies blew Black Ops 3 zombies out of the water. And I hope next time around Infinity War learns from their mistakes and really hits the next game out of the park because they need to in order to gain the community's trust back as of right now they're kind of the developer that can't make a decent game as far as the majority of people are concerned anyways let's kind of wrap up this video if you guys are on xbox one i strongly recommend you guys get all the easter eggs done as soon as possible if you guys are on xbox share your gamer tags down in the comment section below try to help everyone out as much as you can this weekend i will try to host open lobbies on playstation 4 i've been having internet issues lately that's why i haven't been streaming but i'm hoping that this friday I have an opening in the schedule and my internet issues are resolved. If so, I'll be live streaming and helping people out get all the Easter eggs out of the way. But anyways, my name is Cynic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Have you guys unlocked Director's Cut? What do you guys think of it? Is it too easy? Does it, does it take the experience away? Do you turn it off the majority of the time? Let's talk down in the comment section. I'm genuinely curious what you guys have to say. Also, if you guys are having trouble on Beast from Beyond Easter egg, let me know and I'll be more than happy to throw up a guide out to kind of help you utilize as much of your time and be as efficient on getting that easter egg done as possible but anyways my name is Cynic. thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel and until next time guys i'll see you all later you've done it my goodness, you've... We just got one more thing to do. Don't hand me this instant. Give me a moment to explain. Don't you understand what has taken place? Shut up. We sick of you, your lies, and all this voodoo bullshit. It's time for a taste of your own medicine, you sick bastard. You have no idea the magnitude of what you're dealing with. You must listen, or all hope will be lost. You know what to do, Poindexter. Hey. I beg of you, listen for a mere moment. Zombies in Spaceland, now starring Willard Wyler. Please, no! You'll only make matters worse than they already appear to be. Countless souls are at stake. We must work together. Ah! Is, is this nightmare over? Are we finally free? I don't care to find out. Let's just get the hell out of this place while we can. What in the hell won't it open? What in the hell is going on, man? Oh no. What have we done? God help! Somebody help! You have served thy master well. Your death was merely the beginning. <laughs>